This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods and welcome to episode 11 of my Mac Pro series. In this episode I will be showing you how to install 64-bit windows, especially what I'm going to be installing 64-bit Windows 10 Professional onto a 32-bit EFI Mac. Of course, this will only work with 64-bit processors. 32-bit EFI Macs are a strange case to install 64-bit Windows on and have one little problem that makes it a challenge to install Windows. And I will show you what happens and how to fix it in this video. So, we just started booting into our new Windows installed media. The computer kicks into boot camp mode, which emulates a PC BIOS. We get onto this screen right here. Select CD-ROM boot type. We go to select one or two. They're both blank. And you're thinking, why isn't it working? Well, see, the problem is 32-bit EFI Macs have a problem with Windows 7 and newer 64-bit installed. And because of this, once this screen pops up, the disk doesn't know what to do with the keyboards. On a regular PC, 1 and 2 should say something I can't remember exactly, but I believe 1 is for UEFI boot, and the second one is for Legacy BIOS boot. But we can't choose any of them. And it's all because it's a 32-bit EFI. And in this video, I will be showing you how to make installation media that will work on your 32-bit EFI Mac. Let's begin. So, we have booted into the boot camp of my 2009 MacBook. First, we will want to go to Glenn Stevenson's blog page. Glenn has created a program that allows us to modify our disks to work on 32-bit EFI Macs. You can go to this link right here, which I'll also leave in the description. As we scroll down through here, we will need to get this file right here. Now, this whole thing was written up for installing 64-bit Windows 7. And I quickly found out while trying this out that it also works with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. The thing is... The way he has done this, when you do your boot camp boot up, it will automatically boot into the Windows 7 disk. But with Windows 10, I haven't tested 8, but with Windows 10, it will not. And at first I thought this didn't work, when in actuality it did. But you have to start the disk from the boot menu. Anyway. So let's continue. First off, we will want to make three folders in the C drive of your Windows computer. You can name them anything you want, but to keep this simple, I named them Win10 DVD, Win10 EXE, and Win10 ISO. And these will come in major handy in a second. First off, we want to have a Windows 10 or any other Windows 64-bit disk you want, a Windows 10 disk or a ISO file, which you can also download from Microsoft's Media Creator. So right here I have my copy of Windows 10 X64, and I will be putting it into the MacBook. The problem is my optical drive, even though it still works, it it's off balance and it sounds not great. So we will be putting it into my Xbox 360 external HD DVD drive, which is plugged into my MacBook. That will spin up. And 
there's the disk. We click open and then we select everything in here and if you have an ISO file you need to get um, a program like 7-zip and unzip it into a folder but then we just click and drag all the information to the Win 10 DVD folder and let it copy over. Now the files have transferred from the DVD. If we click on the folder, here are all the files that were on the DVD. Now we want to take the file we downloaded from Glenn's website and unzip it. Now we open up the folder and click and drag this file into the Win10 EXE folder. Now we want to open up a command prompt window. We go to the search, type in CMD, right click and click Run as administrator. And now we are going to enter commands. First, we want to get to the main C folder by typing in cd slash enter. Now we're in the main C folder. And I will start this video back up when I type in the commands for this. We'll want to go to the Win 10 EXE folder and hit enter after typing in this command. Now we're in that folder. Now we want to type in this long line of code here and hit enter again. It will start making the new ISO file which will end up in the Win10 ISO folder. Now that it is complete, we can now go back to the main C folder and go down to the Win10 ISO. And here's the new ISO file. We can just click Burn Disk Image and burn it onto a new disk which I have already done and have right here. Now we can go back to our 32-bit EFI Mac and boot into the Windows 10 installer. We will want to bring up the boot menu, eject our drive, put this disk in, and let it show up on the menu. We select the disk, hit enter, and it boots into boot camp mode. It spins up the disk, and starts booting into the installer. Now in the next episode, episode 12 of my Mac Pro series, I will show you how to set up the Windows install. Anyway, thanks for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.